What's happening geeks? It's me M Quan. Peace and blessings to you out there. And yep, you guessed it. We're going to be having a look at the Samsung Galaxy S2 in this video. So turn off all those uh, inappropriate windows. We'll see you after the intro. Peace. Yo, welcome back geeks. So this is the Samsung Galaxy S2, or if you prefer to call it, the Galaxy Samsung S2. Now, it's one of the more popular Samsung devices of 2011, and we got a lot of slack for not featuring it in our top 11, uh, a top four other handsets of 2011. So I thought I'd get one of these bad boys in, fondle the damn thing, play around with it for a few days, and as usual, my usual style, give you my views and views on this device. And first of all, I've got to say, in general, this handset was a real joy to use over the few days that I had it. It's got one of the slimmest, one of the lightest profiles of any current handset that I've experienced compared with the Galaxy Nexus. I think as a handset, it's got an overall really nice, sweet um, feel about it. It's a very comfortable handset, very beautiful handset as well. Um, all the ports, they're in the usual places. The other thing about this device is it has the capacitive uh, touch buttons other than the physical center button which you saw previously. Now it comes as a norm that we have to compare this with its closest competitor which in this case is going to be the iPhone 4S. Now here you can see that 4.3 inch Super AMOLED screen really show off the features of the Samsung S2 when compared with the 4S. The 4S um, just in screen real estate does not compete uh, with the Samsung S2. Uh, the Retina display looks slightly better but in terms of real, real estate it just doesn't have that. Now this version of the S2 was running gingerbread. I'm used to ice cream sandwich because I reviewed that in a previous video. I prefer ice cream sandwich but gingerbread worked perfectly fine what you'd expect from an Android uh, smartphone. Keyboard features I really liked slightly better than what's available on the iPhone 4S. And with the usual array of apps, you know, you've got nothing to worry about in terms of productivity, customization from the Android platform. Now, when it comes to graphics, I was really pleasantly surprised with the S2's graphics. This is GTA 3. I played this on the iPhone 4S, but I really enjoyed playing this on the Samsung Galaxy S2. Graphic wise, these two devices really don't, you know, compete. They're very much the same. Now on to the camera. So the 8 megapixel camera on the S2, this is an example of a shot without flash and one with a flash. You can see, you know, it's what can be expected from, you know, an 8 megapixel camera. In terms of the video camera, however, this was um, a shot that I took with both the 4S and the S2 and you can compare them side by side. And uh, in my opinion, um, I think the darker shades on the S2 were slightly poorer than the 4S, but in terms of panoramic scale, the S2 uh, picked up slightly better than the 4S. Now the other thing that's been asked is a comparison in terms of browser speeds between the 4S and the S2. So we thought we'd do one in our non-fashionable, uh, unexperimental style. This is mquan.com, the previous website version that we were running, loading on both devices and you can see the S2 loading it up, the 4S loading it up, and in this example the 4S loads it up much quicker than the S2. We've still got a bit of wait before the S2 loads it up. Um, both of them were using the same Wi-Fi signal as well, so it gives you an example of the browser speed. And that's it guys, this is the S2, my thoughts on it. I wish I'd reviewed it earlier on because I think it really is one of the key devices, uh, especially of 2011. All in all, if you're looking for an Android smartphone, then this is definitely worth considering. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video. Peace and blessings. This video is sponsored by EasySites.com, creating beautiful digital and print solutions. If you're looking for web design, graphic design, digital media, social network marketing or print, then EasySites.com, building brands online and in print.